Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to talk about hand placements and probably one of the most common mistakes that I see beginner and intermediate riders falling victim to. We have discussed this in videos in the past but I really wanted to dive a little bit more into the leading hand and elbow positionings. The leading hand can be placed in a number of different ways but fundamentally it should be placed around the edge of the nose of the board. The elbow should then be placed pretty much in a straight line from the hand down to the rail. The reason for this is when you bottom turn, you're going to be using your elbow as well as your hips at the back of the board to control the rail, as well as using your hand on the front of the board to pull up on the nose to stop you from nose diving. Lifting your chest and leaning forward will help you to drive down the line. A big problem that I see with a lot of riders is they tend to move their hand more towards the center of the board, which kind of forces the elbow off the board completely. This is due to the position of the arm, feeling more comfortable with your elbow actually off the board. The biggest issue with this is it means that you have no control or weight on the inside rail, which then stops the board from actually sitting in the face of the wave. A lot of the time, this leads to you sliding out and not having control of the board when bottom turning. If you guys wanna learn more and go more in depth into bodyboarding, training, as well as tips and tricks, head on over to Boogie Every Day, where we have a membership platform that caters for people just like you. This is also boosted by a podcast that I put out once a month, as well as some added extras. So if you wanna follow along, please go check out boogieeveryday.com. In order to fix this problem, let's look at how the hand should be placed around the nose of the board. This can be broken down into a number of different ways, and this is gonna be a personal preference for the rider. You can have one finger around the nose of the board. This means that the rest of your hand is already on the rail and actually ends up with your arm and your wrist being a little bit more straight. In this position, you can use the wrist to twist and pull up on the nose a bit easier to get the elbow more into the board and onto the rail. The further across we go into the middle of the fingers or onto just having the pinky finger on the edge of the board, the more the rider tends to have a sort of claw grip on the board. This means that you are sitting with your arms in more of a planking style position as opposed to that of you kind of gripping a bat or a club. The more you move around with this position, the more comfortable you are going to feel. This is not a very natural position to be in, so my suggestion would be to practice this at home and see which of these positions would feel best for you. Making this position more comfortable might require you to go slightly out of your comfort zone and try different things at home or while you are in the water bodyboarding. The main objective is to get the elbow placed on the board, the hand on the corner of the nose and your hips onto the rail to engage the back of the board and the inside rail on the wave. The best way to guarantee this position is correct when you are paddling for waves is to look what direction you are going before you actually start to paddle. My suggestion would be to keep the front hand placed in the correct position. Then you are going to paddle with the other arm so that once you are at the end of your paddling stroke, you can simply grab the outside rail. When paddling, you are going to push down on the front of the board with a straight arm while kicking. This will keep your weight forward and help you to get onto more waves. By doing this, you are making sure that your front hand is in the correct position around the nose. Then you can place your elbow in the right position on the board and you will know that your hand is in the best position as you are taking off on the wave. When it comes to the other hand placement, we have spoken about this in other videos, but that hand should be around where your hips would be if you were sitting with your front shoulder directly over your elbow. When you are bottom turning on a wave or when you have your hips on the back of the board, your outside hand should slightly lift the rail in order to guard the board. The back hand shouldn't be too aggressive with lifting this rail, but more to guard the board along. Most of the work will be done by your elbow and hips on the inside rail, with your hand lifting up on the nose, especially if there's some steep drops. We have spoken about shifting your weight in other videos, which I'm gonna place up here, but I suggest that you look at figuring out these hand positioning, especially your front hand around the nose and your elbow on the board, 
before you go too in depth in looking about how to transfer your weight from rail to rail. As always, I suggest keeping your fins underwater when you are kicking to get the best possible propulsion onto waves. Remember to sit up more once you have got onto the wave and place your back hand in the correct position in order to help drive down the line and get more speed. If you need to slow down or gain a little bit more control, you can always slide back on the board or if you want to really speed up, you can always slide a bit more forward and gain speed. Hopefully this video will show you the importance of keeping your elbow on the board as well as keeping your hand at the front of the board around the corner of the nose. This is not a hand placement that is the same for everyone and whatever works for you would be best. However, the basic rule about keeping your elbow placed on the board is always the most important aspect of this position. If you found this video interesting, please drop a like and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel as I will be making more tutorial videos this year. And as always, remember to boogie every day.